for you! Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and I am a shameless fan of getting free stuff. And today's free stuff is yet another flashlight from the wonderful folks at Through Night. They are prolific. And they've sent me the, if you can see there, the Archer Pro V2. Which I don't think I had an Archer Pro V1, so. And this has a different packaging than any of the previous ones, and it definitely seems like a much smaller flashlight which means I might have a small travel one, which would be really nice. All right, okay, what do we got? Oh, definitely simpler packaging. Oh, <laughs> flashlight's the other way. Uh, it does come with a charging cable, but it does not come with any of the other usual accoutrement, as far as I can tell. So, uh, yeah, small. Svelte. I like the color. I believe it comes in some other anodized colors. I was hoping they might send me the orange one because it would match my idiom, but this one's just as good. It's got on off. I'm gonna take a peek at the rule or the, <laughs> the rules, the instructions, and see if it has any features worth noting. All right, well, it does have some features. Uh, strobe warning as usual. This does have a strobe feature. Uh, triple tap. Puts it into strobe. Uh, if you turn the flashlight, it's just the one button on the back. When you turn it on, it goes to whatever standard mode you left it in. It does have, um, well, it doesn't have the three modes that we usually have, light, medium, and low. Instead, it has a gradient. So you hold the button down, and it will go all the way down until it will blink. And that's the minimum setting. And then hold it, and it will go back up till it gets to the highest setting, and it will blink. And it will stay at whatever gradient you leave it at. So if I put it somewhere in the middle, and I turn it off, turn it back on again, that's where it returns to, uh, which is pretty nifty. It does have Firefly, so double tap, or turbo mode. Double tap goes to turbo, which is higher than the highest setting it normally has. But when you turn it off and turn it back on, it goes back to whatever setting you had it set at. So we'll go all the way down, blink, and all the way back up. Blink. It does have a lock mode, so it, it also has firefly mode, so if you hold down the light, it'll turn on that super, super light firefly, which you can't even see unless it's right on my hand. And then if you hold it down again, it will blink, and now it's in firefly mode, and if you try to turn it on, it will blink in firefly and then go right back off again, so it no longer will stay on. And then you simply hold it till it blinks, and now it's back to normal mode. So it does have all of the usual features. The recharge port is a, a little bit unusual. You unthread the head and it will reveal the recharge port, which is USB-C as is standard on most of these. I don't know if you can actually get the battery out. If you can, I haven't figured out how to yet. So maybe you're just not supposed to. But, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's take it outside and get some footage of it shining. Because despite it's very small, I mean, it's not much bigger than my index finger, it's actually surprisingly powerful. So uh, let's go take a look. Right. I'm here in the dark with the frogs. And let's uh, take a look. This, I believe, is the highest setting. And it is lighting up most of the yard. We can uh, drop it down to the lowest setting. And now it's a much smaller beam. It's not throwing much into the distance at all. But up close, I mean, you can still see fairly well. If we go to uh, Turbo, that's, uh, that's really something for so small a flashlight. See, there's the lowest setting. We'll bring it back up to the highest setting. And then, Turbo! They ain't kidding. Turbo, Turbo ain't no one's fool. That's, uh, that's impressive how much Turbo really does. Oh, so, yeah! I dig it. I dig it. Back to the shop. So, yeah, for so tiny a flashlight, that is 
pretty impressive. Them being rechargeable is lovely. Um, still haven't figured out if there's a way to get to the battery. There probably is with violence. There, there looks like a pin right there. If you might be able to get that out, I don't know. Um, but I dig it. Didn't come, as I said, with any of the other accoutrement. Came with a USB charging cable, but didn't come with a lanyard uh, or any replacement parts because there isn't actually a charging port cover and you can't actually get to the O-ring, so there's no need to have replacements of those. Does come with a belt clip, as you can see right there, which is removable. And uh, it looks like it'd be just the right size to uh, slip into some molly. Let me go confirm that. Can confirm fits into Molly beautifully in either direction. The clip can either clip from, from the top or from the bottom. So it's neat that they, they did that so that you can either have it so it's pointing down and you can just push it and it's like having a, a spotlight at your feet when it's in your vest. Uh, or you can have it the other way if you want to uh, light up your face in a scary and intimidating manner. I don't know. Anyway, I dig it. The, uh, the Archer Pro V2. If you're looking for a small but powerful and rechargeable flashlight, well, here is an option, and it comes in a variety of anodized colors. Link will be in the description. Train! Thank you for watching.